the betrayer like the artist. What an absolute shocking day out there today. But... Hi, I'm John and welcome to Stammeron. It's not the best day out there, but it's not all bad. Another package in the post, so it's time for another unboxing video, I think. So, I think I know which ones these are. It's pretty cold today, so I am totally wrapped up completely today. So I was very fortunate enough to get these from uh, from Runners Need. Um, I got these actually using a Vitality code. So Vitality are a UK healthcare provider, and I managed to get a discount, a heavy discount of 50% on on these. So the moment I show you the box, it's going to be quite obvious what brand they are. So I'm going to open them up a little bit. So, I got get out of the way. So I have got a new pair of hokers. I've had a two or three pairs of hokers. I had the um, Rocket, the Rocket One or the Rocket X, the original one, which was okay. I've got the Hoka Edge, which is which is not the best. I have to say that. And I have the Mark IV, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. Quite light, quite a nice, nice shoe to wear. Uh, and I've got that in black. So that, that's a really nice pair to have. So I fancied these and I tried to get the new pair of, is it Celios on the website? I could have got 50% off, off of those. However, they didn't have them online and they don't really have a store in Essex. So. I couldn't get a pair of those. I would have loved to have got a pair of those, 50% off, but instead I went for, for these. So what do we have in here? Let's have a look at the first look at these. I've not seen these before. So these, these are the Rocket X, Rocket X2. So the plan for me for these is to use these as um, a marathon shoe. These are gonna be my shoe for this year. I been looking at these since last year. These are still retail at I think about £210. As I said, I was very fortunate to have a code and I picked these up for £110, so 50% off of, off of these. So first glance, they actually look really nice. Again, I like uh, the colorway on these. The colorway is really, really nice. Definitely a different Hoka shoe to the previous ones that I've that I've had. I'm quite looking forward to putting these on my feet and taking them outside. Not in not in that today because that's shocking. It's my cat. And really looking forward to putting these on. I've purposefully not read in too much about about these. I've read the odd thing about the Rocket X2s. I'm sure the Rocket X3 will be out this year, but so far they do actually look really nice. My immediate uh, thoughts on these are again, you know, they, they do look really nice. The tread on these looks worrying, I think, because there's not a load of it, particularly on, on the back area. Uh, it doesn't particularly affect me because I'm not a heel striker, so I can be when I'm tired. So actually, I say that I take that back slightly. So if these are going to be for a longer, I do tend to sit back on my heel the more tired I get. So that may be an issue. This midsole foam uh, is basically going to get destroyed after the first run. And when I say that, I mean it's going to be disgustingly full of dirt, and there's no way that you can clean that off. I don't know much about the foam yet. I think it's a Piba based based foam. It feels quite soft in the hand actually. It feels it's an interesting one actually. It does feel really spongy in hand. So I'm really looking forward to taking this out. As for the price, um, 
I think 210 is a bit steep, if I'm being quite honest. I mean, there isn't anything here. Obviously, I've not put it on my foot yet, so I can't tell you um, if it's worth 210 pounds. I don't think any shoes are worth 210 pounds, but there you go. It's got a massive, great big carbon plate, which, which runs right through middle, and you can see the plate there. So it's, it pretty much is a, is a standard uh, super shoe, I guess, as it was, as fairly typical. I'm not trying to do anything different out of the box. Uh, it's, the tongue is like um, a booty tongue in there, I guess. So that looks like it will uh, grip the foot nicely. There isn't much to the heel counter, but you've got the side, side um, support there. She's very actually reminiscent um, of the Puma Far Star, which I've got upstairs. And again, that's in green. Uh, I didn't pick it because it was in green. It's the only color that I could get. Uh, boxing wise, the box is just, just standard in terms of the, a boxing experience if you're into all that. Uh, it's probably a box I will keep. I tend to keep the boxes for the kind of uh, high price shoes just because I've got somewhere to put them. Um, these are not something I typically wear every single day so it would be nice to put them somewhere nice. So the plan as it stands is to wear these for a race this year. So I've got a half coming up so the plan is to wear this in a half and anything longer than that to be honest. So I will take these out at some point when the rain stops and give you my thoughts and review on the shoe so me and please don't forget to like favorite and subscribe for more content and i'll see you in the next one